My name is Gillen, and I will be talking about my worst day ever. One thing you should know about me before I get started is that I absolutely hate lizards. I hate the way they look, the way they smell, and for goodness sakes, the way they, the way they look, they touch, the feel. So my day is on June 3rd. I woke up in the morning and my mom tells me that she has to go run an errand for my, for my dad and that she needs me to come with her so she, I could help her translate since so she's not even fluent in English. So we go, we go outside and we get, her, we get the errand done and then we go to my mom's friend's house to eat lunch. And my mom tells me that we're going to stay there until it's time to pick up my brother. So we eat lunch and then my mom and her friend are talking forever. Like, I want to go home but they keep talking. And about, and about around 2.30, my mom tells me, okay, we're going to leave now. So we get to the car, and we put all the stuff in the car, and we go. But of course, my mom has to stop by the market to get some groceries. We go to the market, we spend, we spend time getting groceries, and we finally get to the car. I open the trunk of my mom's minivan, and everything freezes. Everything, I'm like, what, what's wrong? Uh, my mom suddenly yells, snaps me to realization, and I realize that there's a lizard sitting in the back of my mom's minivan. I freak out. I start running, I yell, I scream across the parking lot, not caring what people were talk, thinking about me. And from the distance, I could see my mom having a freak session of her own. I'm like, okay, I have to go help my mom. I go to the car and feel like an arm's length away from the car. And I'm like, okay, what are we gonna do? And I'm looking for a lizard and it's gone. And my mom tells me that as soon as I was screaming, it went under the seat. I'm freaking out. And my mom, after about like five minutes, my mom's like, okay, we're late, we have to go pick up your brother. So I don't really get inside the car with my feet up in the seat. And as my mom's driving, I could have an image of my mom freaking out because she's going to see the lizard and we're going to get an accident. All these images just going through my head and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. I'm ready to cry. So we get to my brother's pool. It takes 10 minutes to get there, but it felt like an hour. We get there and my brother gets in the car and I tell him, there's a lizard in the car. And of course, him, my, my brother being a guy, he said, that's so cool. No, it's not cool! I'm ready to punch him. I'm like, okay, you're, you're crazy. So as we're going home, it takes like five minutes to get home, I call my sister who's already home from school. I tell her there's a lizard in the car, so get outside with something. As we're pulling into our apartment structure and into our designated parking spot, I see my sister coming outside with the broom as she were warrior. She's ready to take this thing on. So we pull in, I open the trunk, my mom pulls up the seats, and literally is sitting there, staring at me. I freak out again. I start yelling, I scream, I'm jumping up and down, and my mom tells me to shut up. My sister grabs the broom, and she starts banging at it and poking at the lizard, and the lizard, does, the lizard does not move. It's looking at us like we're pathetic. So after about like 20 minutes, I see the lizard just stepping outside the car on its own. And as I'm looking at it going, going, down, going down the car, and it's, its head snaps into my direction, and it's looking at me like it wants to tell me, "You guys are so late." <laughs> we we finally pick up the grocery. We pick up the groceries. We close all the car doors before the lizard gets inside again. We close. We put the seats down. We close the trunk. And as I'm about to leave, I see that the firefighters who live next to us were looking out their window the entire time. And I make eye contact with them, and one of them tells me, "Thank you for putting on a great show." <laughs> I'm like, "Are you serious? You couldn't help?" But of course, I tell them, "You're welcome." So we get inside the house, and of course the first thing I do is Facebook post. Thank you.